Hey everyone, Zayf here, welcome to Skyclimb Overview. I truly can see that I'm not the target audience for this game, but I have to do it regardless, and I think this is graduating from App Lab. There has been a lot of stuff this year so far, and this is cool, <laughs> cause then it proves a theory that it's better to develop something there and then just over time climb yourself to the official store through the hard work and confidence in your project. So Skyclimb is a swinging action game where you'll embark on a journey through the skies of very interesting environments that will test your skills in locomotion and swinging mechanics, rescue guardians of the Balloon universe and overall bring back the harmony. Immediately I can tell that the art style is very heavy on the ice, like there's a lot of stuff going on and it's actually kinda hard to distinguish what's there in terms of the gameplay and the static stuff, because this is meant to be a dynamic game game there has to be some sort of a separation because otherwise it's just becoming a one big blob. I think TOS was a very similar game in this character and title's purpose although Sky Climb seems to be using a low gravity so mechanics should be a little bit different but everything else relatively the same. This is not really my cup of tea and anything that I would be looking forward to play so my goal is to see if everything is cohesive and make sense. It very much seems like something that came from the App Lab realm and if it's gonna bring a proper quality we shall see. Let's go climb to the sky. Don't touch. Amen. No, no, don't explode. This is very... Awa! My eyes! <laughs> what have you done? Now you are trapped with us in the ceiling sphere. You can't leave. Long ago, balance between light and darkness kept the world in harmony. Guardians promoted peace in all worlds and the universe thrived. However, balance was shattered when darkness began to succumb to its own greed. Consumed by a voracious hunger for power, the darkness grew in strength, corrupting the guardians and casting the world into an abyss of darkness. In this hour of despair, light realized that its own power was no match for the overwhelming darkness. As a last resource, it gathered every ounce of its remaining strength and unleashed a spell of sealing, entrapping the shadow and the corrupted guardians within an ethereal prison, a perfect sphere. Now you are also trapped in this prison. To free yourself you must awakening the corrupted guardians and defeat darkness. By delivering a resounding slap to each guardian, you have the power to free them from the grip of darkness and restore their true essence. I will guide you in this task. Bring me stars from each world you visit, and I can teleport you to the corrupted guardians in all worlds, with more stars who will be able to go further. Restore balance and the freedom for us all. Alright, there is some storyline going on though, I think it kinda, I don't know, it's like very stuck. I would not remember it after a while. <laughs> yeah, let's just straight up go to the uh, main gameplay. You must hit the corrupted guardian as fast as you can. Grab the cubes using the grip button to move yourself. Wait, but why the cube kinda moves with me? Wait, this is very low gravity. What the? I guess because we are a balloon? Okay, that is kind of bad in terms of the movement. Hmm. 
I don't think we've had a game with such low. Don't touch blockers and enemies. If you disconnect from my cubes for too long, your hands will inflate and explode. Press the button A, and I will get you back to the latest checkpoint. Gravity mechanics. I suppose it gives you like more control over what you're doing. Do we have like snoop turning and stuff? Not necessarily. Not a big deal. They look angry. I mean, we can technically go to the end from here. Pull yourself towards the cube and launch yourself to fly away. Cause with the mechanics, like. I mean, I know I should collect those coins, but is there really a point to it? Yeah. <laughs> But he looks so cute. I mean, it's self explanatory, I suppose. You need to like control the direction you're going because then. Nothing good will come of it. And you can only grab with one hand. Ah, I pressed the button by accident. Well, if you do that, then you need to be careful about checkpoints. Mate. 
Now <laughs> where's the checkpoint? <laughs> From down under? I kinda hate I can't steal myself. Just kind of limiting. Oh, my God. I can just go directly to him and slap his ass. Yeah, I don't care about time. Oh yeah, I forgot to talk about the graphics. I mean, there's also in the sky. There's no blurriness really going on. It is quite simple, but it feels its purpose. I don't know if this is something like official store release ready. I mean, it works and stuff, but In terms of quality, I'm not so sure if it compares to the other releases. Although recently I've seen worse, so there's that. gonna get much from this I mean overall I knew going into it it's not gonna be for me at all and it's a very niche gameplay that I don't know if many people will be interested in it there's a custom builder customizables multiplayer so all the necessary features I suppose are present but it's not drawing me at all which is totally fine and if you're looking for so low gravity action then this one of the few representations